Hi, we're Scott and Jen, husband and wife from North East England. In the summer of 2018, sick of the 9 to 5 lifestyle and the hamster wheel of our lives in the UK, we decided to embark on a van life adventure. Through the winter of 2018 and into 2019, we converted a van into our beautiful home on wheels. Our plan? To explore as much of Europe as possible. The travels produced some of our best memories together. Visiting France and experiencing summer and winter in the Alps. Spain and its rich culture and cuisine, and Portugal's unique cities and stunning beaches. But during the first ski season of our two-year voyage, our plans were cut short for reasons I'm sure you're all aware. However, every cloud has a silver lining, and over the past few years, we were fortunate enough to see our beautiful country pretty extensively, experience our own diverse heritage and history, take up new hobbies, and making new friends along the way. Disillusioned with the current instability of the world, rocketing house prices and living costs in the UK, we were looking further afield to find a place we can call our home. Having loved our time spent in Portugal, we decided it was the country for us. We planned to eventually find a farm with land to nurture and call our own, to make the transition to a more self-sufficient off-grid lifestyle where we can reconnect with our food, the nature around us and make positive decisions for our health and life. This is our journey so far. The consulate. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. See how this goes. Parcel arrived. Looks pretty similar to the prepaid envelope we give them at the consulate. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Our appointment date for the Portuguese consulate. Oh. <laughs> ah. Who's that ugly man there? We're going to Portugal! <laughs> yeah, dude. Buzz in! Let's have a look at mine then. Oh, I don't know if you want to show them this photo. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Dun, dun. Accepted! I don't know if you want to. Stage uh... one. <laughs> <laughs> Stage one complete. complete. <laughs> and you need to have that many clothes. Got the vac bags, ten vac bags, just so we can get Jen's wardrobe packed in the van. Making moves. Come on, clothes there. Half, half done. I'm not half done. service station in the M5 look at that mess 
how anybody can be oblivious to this now is ridiculous. One nice big one coming up here, right in front of the sun. How's that barn at stream yeah? One and only pasty maker. Well, we delayed an hour and a half. We're on. And I'll wait the Santan there. Get some rays on the side deck. I remember getting this at small kids because it's so much fun you just run Happy around. Days. It's like this is such a good thing. Luxury. <laughs> Feel the warmth already, can't you? Humidity. Santander. Celebrating with a little Portuguese tart. Open fire. It's all good. You've lost your spot. <laughs> Ten feeding every local cat, so get one about every half hour. Crazy cat lady. Gonna take four. <laughs> so we've got some, just got some seeds here. What we brought with us, germinating. Got hot peppers or oh. pimento quente. I think I got that right. Any Portuguese watching? I'm sure you'll be in the comments. Be nice guys. We love your country. These are strawberry seeds. Giant strawberries. Gigante moranguero. 
and Turks Turban squash seed here. I've just done one as we haven't really got the space at the moment. See how that if that germinates. We've got Martillo, which is a giant blueberries. Not sure whether them are going to germinate. Absolutely tiny seeds when they arrived. But if we can get these going, we might put them in pots and take them with us. And also the same with the banana. These are actually banana seeds. Which people might say they're not going to grow here as we haven't got the climate. But these are banana seeds that you can actually grow in the UK, believe it or not, in the right conditions. The dwarf variety. And they're still very temperamental, but if you take them in during the winter, keep them under cover, then there's a chance that we might have some success. So I'm going to plant these out in pots as well and hopefully take them with us wherever we head to. That's it for the seeds. Been learning a little bit of a lingo. Both been learning a little bit of the lingo. We've been thrown into the deep end here. And the landlord was here, she knew a little bit of English, but that was about as far as it went. All the rest of the locals know pretty much no, no English at all. So we are trying our best to learn as quickly as possible. The locals are very receptive of it. Have a good laugh when we get things wrong or our pronunciation is poor. <laughs> Me with a strong northern accent being asked whether I'm Scottish couple of times already <clears throat> and I think that comes over in the Portuguese accent as well and pronunciation is very very difficult it's a very very difficult language to master but over time I think we're going to get better and immersing ourselves out here in the countryside where nobody really speaks English is only going to push things on quicker and we hope to be fluent Are you having her? Yeah. Hello. This is a stray that we've been offered to give a home to. What we're going to do. We love him. <laughs> Her? Yeah. I love him. Yeah. You need a good clean of your eyes. You need a good clean of your eyes. Want to come for some cheese? Come for some cheese. So, just got up this morning made ourselves a coffee and we're going to be heading in the garden today to pick up some supplies after a little conversation between us last night I think it was a foregone conclusion but we may have just adopted a dog got down so far for the dog I've got a bed and a blanket mm -hmm. Some meat, food, or bones, a toy, maybe. Mmm. Poo bags. What else do we need? Treats. Did you put down cat food as well for the local cats? Yeah, I've got cat food down. And milk. Our commute to the local shops in Garda. It used to driving back on the right side of the road. What are you gonna get? There's treats here. Crazy cat lady's getting some cat food.
kind of mum and dad use for the, the mm, blue. But sh she's got smooth fur. Can't come up here. There's a velvet couch. No. No. <laughs> You didn't plant anything else, did you? Sorry? Yeah, the garlic was in there, but not anymore. <laughs> Favorite have a pastime at the moment. Don't do that. Getting, <laughs> getting a top of my tan up in the morning sun. <laughs> Did I catch you a little bit uh, laid bare there? Oh, Off guard, definitely. And Bella likes it in the shade because her black coat is a little bit too much, isn't it, darling? Hmm? Would you call just a little bit hot in this weather? No. Oh. Favourite thing about Portugal so far? Go! The coffee machine. The coffee machine? That's poor. We had one of them at home. Come on, no pressure. Um, Bella. Bella, yeah. And um, sun, the mm. river. Chilled little life here. Good. Ron, get some out of the hospitals. Mm. <laughs> well, they did that one, didn't you? Look at that professional. Profesh. Are well, you just lying in the soil there, destroying all of our fresh salad? Hmm? Hmm? Are you? You're destroying all of our salad. Hmm? So, I just woke up and had the usual coffee. We'll give you a little guided tour of our humble abode, our residence for the foreseeable till we find our own spot to set up camp. We've got the sitting room here, doing a bit of editing and an open fire, which is really nice in the night time, cosy. Got Jen doing a bit of the scrapbook. Want to show them your scrapbook? <laughs> Catching up from our Cornwall travels in the summer. Some storage up there. It's also been making a little bit of lavender pot puree from some wild lavender. We were left some squash from the locals, which is really nice. And we got a bottle of the finest extra virgin olive oil as well, which is delicious. Had some of that on a salad yesterday. Grown locally. Grown locally on the local farms around the area of Cotega. Got a little kitchen area, everything's just ran off electric. Electric water boiler. 
and this is the boudoir we just love the granite walls we've been discussing and said that if we can find a construction that has similar walls to this then that's what we're going to look for for a farm this is the shower room chuveiro nice monsoon shower with traditional tiles we're the first people in here the landlady's really done a pretty nice job and that toilet cenita some of the construction in portugal really can be quite poor but when we're looking for our own farm we're hopefully going to find something with the walls like this look at the window reveals the walls are like one meter thick and when the sun's bleaching down really does keep the place quite cool so that'll be handy in the summer and this is the outside area Bella say hello say hello <laughs> Outside area. No, oh, I've got nothing for you. Outside area here, right next to the Serra de Estrella National Park. Yeah, go on, you lie in the soil. Serra de Estrella National Park, and some of the higher mountains over there. This is uh, one of the, or the only area in Portugal where you can actually go skiing and snowboarding during the winter so we've got our stuff we're going to try that once the winter rolls back round and this is the outside got the outhouse here where there's a lot of wood stored from us from when the renovation was done it's riddled with woodworm but good for making fires and this is the outside of the building already some fruit trees in here it's a persimmon um, I'm not quite sure what that one is. This is a cherry tree. And it's just nice and peaceful and tranquil. We've all been settling in steady, doing a bit of sunbathing. We adopted a dog, as you might have seen, after about two days. So she's an absolute beauty. Settled in well with no problems. The locals, one of the main reasons why we looked at moving to Portugal, have been more than accommodating, bringing us fresh biscuits and bread, helping us plant out the little garden here, offered us some land to actually plant some vegetables on, but we don't know how long we are going to be here. We're currently looking for a farm. We'll be going and travelling around and looking at potential properties as the weeks go past, and hopefully find a place we can call our own so that's about it for now guys thank you for watching and see you on the next one